Oh, hold on. Oh, oh. Why is it so zoomed in? Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> and from the thumbnail, you can probably see that. Don't embarrass me. Take two. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> And from the thumbnail, you could probably see that I'm finally upgrading. And I just wanted to unbox it with you guys because this is a monumental moment, okay? I feel like I am past the point of doing videos on my iPad. One of my biggest pet peeves when filming my videos is that you could see everything in my background. And it's distracting. Like, at least to me, especially when I'm editing, like, this is my room, right? This is just my room. It's kind of distracting that you could see everything I have stored in the drawer, my little essential oils, like it's too much at times. And it's a lot of information to take in. And I feel like in some ways that takes away from my video. Yeah, I didn't know I was gonna be able to upgrade so soon, but it's just by the universe that it was able to happen and a lot of people supporting me and seeing the potential. This is the camera I've been researching for a while for I would wanna say like three or four months. What I was looking for in a camera was the Wi-Fi capability because again, even though I've been doing all my past videos on my iPad, I also edit on my iPad. I didn't wanna get anything that would have to add any extra barriers or I would have to get anything extra like a hard drive or another cord even to be able to edit. So I wanted it, the transition to be seamless and with this camera, it does have that capability. I do have a Nikon DSLR and it's a pretty big camera. I got it when I was 13 and I still love the camera. I still use the camera, but for something like filming sit down videos, even the little vlogs I like to do sometimes, I want something that I could easily fit into my bag or even in my pocket when I'm out on the road. So bringing my big DSLR is not only a hazard, but it's a danger because, you know, I in my area to even just carry all the equipment, it's just too much. So having a small compact handheld camera was something that I was always gonna get regardless of having my big camera. This is just a beginner's unboxing. Overall, because I got the memory chip with it because I was gonna get a memory chip anyways, they didn't have the camera alone. So I had to buy the like, I don't know, a value pack where it came with a memory chip of 128 gigabytes which is good it just worked out and all together without any like warranty or um anything just buying the camera with the memory card included which supposedly the memory card retails for i don't want to be wrong but it retails for more than what the bundle is offering so i think it was like i'm saving 50 dollars or something on on the chip but if you happen to get a bundle like this Expect to spend, oh my God, I paid $110 in tax? Uh-uh, ain't that a bitch. Look what money make a bitch do. Anyways, altogether, I spent just under $1,000. It was 961. I expected to spend about that, especially with the chip. So, I mean, it's what I budgeted for. So yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, so I figured out how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna use my camera on my eight, Ew. my old phone, and do this unboxing. So we got double action going on. There's no easy way to do this. I'm doing it with one hand, but here we go. Okay, so when you first open the box, you see the, the memory card. I'm not sure what this is. To get started in every language. This is a thick hand manual. Ooh. This is the whole camera. Right here. Right in this little this little, I'm gonna put that to the side. And then here is, oh, the battery is very tiny. The battery. I'm not sure what this is. Everything has a little QR code on it. I'm not sure why. 
and the battery charger. I'm probably gonna get a couple more batteries because from what I've heard, the battery isn't that great, but that is everything. Okay, so I just got done getting everything out the box and the first thing I saw was the SD card. I got 128 gigabytes that came with the camera. So I got the memory card that I will be putting in right away. I got the camera's charger, the battery charger, and I mean, it's it's a camera charger. It's about the same size as every charger I've had. Yeah, nothing too special about this. The battery is surprisingly small. <laughs> it is so tiny, like it is tiny. The one downside I heard about um, this camera is that the battery capacity isn't that great. Um, I'll be ready to see for myself, but I am prepared to buy multiple batteries. I mean, it's kind of a given when having a camera. Many camera owners already have multiple batteries regardless, so it's always good to have a backup anyway, so I'm definitely going to be getting another. Um, it came with this like, oh, I was like, it came with this like strap piece, but it seems to be the, um, the strap for the camera, so I will be attaching that immediately. That's cute, not even realized. And then it came with a bunch of manuals that I will not be reading. So, for to be exact. Yep, that can stay over there. The box is pretty big for the camera because the camera was like in the corner. Ooh, ah. So, this is a little container it's in. And it's a lot heavier than I expected, if I'm being honest. Ooh. Wow! Here it is. I mean, yeah, she's exactly what I was expecting. Not me saying she already. It's exactly what I'm expecting. A great size. It's no bigger than my phone. Oh, this is not. <laughs> this is not my phone. <laughs> she's no bigger than my phone. Like, and that's what I really wanted. Something I could easily fit in my pocket if needed. And that's what I'm really looking for. A pocket size camera, but a good quality camera. It has a good grip on it. It feels good. Like, it did feel like heavy coming out the box, but I mean, it's a camera. Now that I'm holding it, it feels comfortable. It feels good. It doesn't feel as heavy as I initially thought. It's very compact, which I really like. Like, it's a good camera. It's a good size camera. I have to turn her on. Do I have to put the battery in? Oh my gosh, what if I have to charge the battery? That's unfortunate. You'll know to find the battery pack at the bottom. Hoping this battery is charged. Ooh. But like this doesn't just close. Oh my god, what am I doing wrong? This is so embarrassing. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Should I read the instructions? Well, there's pictures, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got it. <laughs> also, my SD card, I might as well put it in now. This whole video is just gonna be me struggling it's all my days, of course. Why would it just why would things just be easy? What? This is the worst unboxing. And this is why I need the new camera. SD card finally in. Pray that it's charged or else I'm gonna cry. Charge the battery. Oh my gosh, how do I take it back out now? Oh no. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, so it's been charging for about like 20 minutes but i'm not gonna wait for it to fully charge just for the sake of the video oh my god let me remember how to do this look away <laughs> you said time and date what day is it 22 oh lord okay let's zoom in a little what how do we like this do we like this I, it's giving Casper up. Here she is. Um, so on my camera, on this camera, oh, it's also touch screen. So that's cool. But on this camera, I'm giving very ghostly and I'm concerned. I am concerned. I'm gonna play around with it cause it really could just be the setting that it's on. And yeah. Holding it up, I don't feel no weight. It's pretty cool. 
Do I hate it? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll learn. <laughs> I have some melanin to me because I promise you I am not this pale in person. I'm probably gonna have to play around with the settings and have it on a specific setting and have to get used to actually looking into the camera and not in my viewfinder because on a camera like this, it's very noticeable that I'm not looking at the camera, whereas if I'm on my iPad, you can't really tell. I'm looking at the camera now and you can tell, you can't really tell that I'm not looking at the camera per se, y you know? And yeah, we're just gonna play around with it and hopefully I'll be able to update you guys but I think that's it for today's video. And I hope this unboxing was quirky, cool, fun. I don't know. Yeah, expect new things and expect great things. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.